Hi, this is Jerry Edmond, and this is Success in Life. I want to talk to you for just a couple of moments about growing your influence, the keys to growing your influence. You know, that's something that we all want and we all strive for in our life. You know, we can certainly sense that there's more, but, you know, it's just a struggle sometimes to know how to make that happen. I I can't tell you how many times that I had a sense that I knew that there was more for me but I just didn't know how to get there. And, and so the, the, the first thoughts that come to me is, well, maybe if I do this, then I'll get there. Or maybe if I get that, then maybe I'll get there. And we're so predictable during times like this. You know, it's almost like every New Year's we make our resolutions and we've got these new rounds of promises and new leaves that we turn over. We, you know, we, we always fall back to the old faithful. I'm, I'm going to lose weight and, <laughs> and this time I'm going to keep it off. Uh, you know, or I'm going to start a new business, or I'm going to be a better husband, or I'm going to be a better wife, and I'm going to start going to the gym, and I'm going to be consistent, or I'm going to clean up my closets and just try to re, re-image myself. You know, it's, it's, we're just reaching for something, thinking that if we go do this or, 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 or go purchase that, that it somehow is going to make us what we're wanting to be. And we try to change our life by changing our exterior circumstances. So each year we find ourselves singing the same song, second verse, turn over a new leaf, New Year's resolution, you know how it goes. And then it's not long till we get just a few miles down the road and we hit a wall and we realize we're right back in the same spot and nothing has changed. Instead of seeing the real problem, our tendency is to blame other people or to blame our circumstances. Well, I didn't get the right breaks or... They didn't like me. You know how that goes. It's, it's, it's hard for me to imagine my failure lies in my own backyard. But I want you to listen to this principle. Real change, the kind that moves you to the next level, doesn't happen in your life from the outside. In other words, by just changing your circumstances, buying a new suit, getting a new car, whatever. Real change is something that happens and starts on the inside. Now, I do need to give this little caveat. I'm not suggesting that some external changes and modifications that need to take place. There's a lot of things that we do or don't do on the outside that can sabotage our success. But in this lesson, uh, I want to make this point. Even if we get some success, getting all of our ducks in a row or whatever, you're not going to keep them because, because of where you are on the inside. Everything in life rises or falls to the watermark of who you are not because of what you have. Now listen, there's three words I want to introduce to you, really powerful words. Be, do, and have. Now you got to keep them in this proper sequence. First be, then do, and then have. That's the proper sequence. And when we get things out of sequence, we start saying things like, well, if I can do blank, then I will be. Or if I could just have blank, then I will be. And and the problem with that is the fact that we throw ourselves into hopeless debt, trying to appear to be something that we're not, and it kills us. And I've even seen where people go beyond that and they end up lying, cheating, hustling, just looking for that B position. But the B position being is the goal. It's not having, it's not doing. That's where it starts. To be is where you should focus on first. It's not if I can do this or have that. That's an endless treadmill that just depletes your resources but never really takes you any place. You need to back up just a little bit, set your priorities on that one word, be. Okay? You build your wealth and who you are and not just what you have. And that becomes the influence that draws people to you. See, once you begin to grow, you draw the influence that you desire. You want to build your mass. Let me, let me say it again. You need to build your mass. That's a really interesting concept. I picked up a few facts from the NASA Space Exploration Program, and uh, they were giving a discussion on our solar system. They were talking about uh, our sun is only one of like 200 billion stars just in the Milky Way galaxy alone. I mean, that's just That's just kind of hard for me to wrap my brain around. Well, also, the Milky Way is teeming with billions of Earth-sized planets. Now, around our sun, we have nine planets. 
nine planets that rotate around our sun, which actually our sun is a very small sun. And uh, of those nine planets, a few years ago, they determined that Pluto, which is the one that's furthest out, really didn't qualify as a planet. It was rather a, a dwarf planet, kind of a large chunk of ice. However, get this, it's within our orbit. Now, here's the key. I want you to listen to this. It's within our gravitational pull. Pluto is within the gravitational pull of the sun. And this is the lesson. The greater the mass of the sun, the greater the gravitational pull of our rotation. If our mass decreases, planets will fall out of our orbit. Okay? To draw more planets in, the mass has to grow larger. And here's the lesson to that. Fix what's inside, and the other things will just happen. As your mass grows, people, things, resources, opportunities, listen, they'll just be drawn to you. If the B is taken care of, then what you do and what you have will be with you for a long time. And those things will just be incidental. It won't be something you're trying to make happen. It'll just be drawn to you. See, it's not what you do or have. It's what you are that's important. And that is where your influence starts. Now, it is true that you might draw some attention by what you do or have, but when they see that you're not what they thought, they will fall out of your gravitational pull. So, you grow up as a person which is clearly seen in how you handle people, responsibilities, adversity. You know, you're going to have to hit the books. You're going to have to practice. You're going to have to expand your borders. You're going to have to enlarge yourself. That, that, that's just so true. You're going to have to begin to grow your mass. And most of the time, that's a problem because people don't like the struggle. They don't like the pressure that comes with that. But it's during those times that you become seasoned and you become mature. You know, I'm kind of thinking of the chicken and the egg. It's the struggle to getting out of the egg, the pecking away at the wall of the egg that strengthens the neck of that little chicken and strengthens him uh, to live outside the egg. See, a lot of times we don't understand that the struggle in where we are is the very thing that's empowering us to live at the next level. You've seen people who couldn't handle pressure. You know, they're here today and boom, the wind blows and they're gone tomorrow. You're thinking, what in the world happened to them? But when you become temperate, it, it stabilizes you. I, I really like that word temperance. Temperance is a very important part of our life. Steel is raised to varying degrees of strength by the pressure that it's put under, the heat, the cold, whatever they do to it. And if steel is not tempered, it'll collapse when it gets under a certain amount of pressure. Tempered steel is made to carry a load, and that's what sustains it. And that's what also sustains you and allows you to build something that you can be proud of. That's the B in life. But when your mass is growing, you're emerging from within. And, and you start there, and you begin to look like a symbol of what a successful person looks like. Now, isn't that really what you want? I mean, if you want success in life, look within. Grow your mass. Come on, anchor yourself. Discipline yourself. Do what you need to do to establish that which is on the inside. And you'll grow into what I call success in life. Go for it. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast about success in life. If you would like more information about this subject or other materials or resources offered by Jerry Edmond, please go to www.jerryedmond.com.